Nine months ago, I took you for a walk on the wild side with the homeless. I had my dad drop me off in downtown Cincinnati where I tried to live homeless for a week. My goal was to inspire at least one homeless person, help them find a better path off the streets, help them recognize their unrealized potentials, and help them migrate to a better place. But I had no idea how difficult and challenging my endeavor would be. And the outcome, well, that was even more unexpected. I met Aaron on the streets of Cincinnati. He was on a dangerous path of addiction and self-destruction. But with a little bit of encouragement, understanding, and love, Aaron chose himself to step out from the shadows of homelessness and into the light of new opportunities. Now Aaron is living in West Palm Beach, Florida, where he lives a sober life on a beautiful palm tree farm, reunited with his best friend, and has a job working construction. Here is Aaron right now, six months sober. What's going on? Some saw cutting. How's the car? It's, uh, it's a piece of shit, but it gets me, <laughs> <laughs> it gets me around, dude. This is my routine, man. I go to work. I go to a meeting, sometimes dirty, just like this. I don't care what I look like. I lay in my bed at night. I just sit there and switch the channels. Like, really? I cannot believe this. I met Dan over that weekend and was working Monday. Wow. I didn't miss a beat. That's awesome, man. And Dan has just been a blast. What's Aaron doing for you, man? He's, um, he's doing concrete work and labor work learning a little bit about asphalt. He's been really good, man. It's unbelievable. He uh, he seems to uh, have a purpose and uh, he's uh, gained a little bit of spirituality and uh, he's living clean and he's doing a great job. He asked me for a job and uh, I took the risk and gave him a job and it's working out real well. He told me, I won't let you down. He says, oh, what did he say? He said, uh, I'll go to the job site tail wagon, ready yeah. to work. Uh, he was just like, yeah, call me Monday. So I called him. He said, why don't you come down to the shop? And initially it was just like, you know, I'll give you some hours so you can put some money in your pocket. And as I started working it, I, I got along with the guys and, and you know, they saw that I wasn't stupid and I could swing a hammer. You know, they're like, yeah, he's pretty good. So Dan just put me on payroll. So what's the feeling that overcomes you as you pull down the driveway to your place now? Peace. Absolute peace. Serenity. I, I'm, I'm home. I feel like I feel like I'm coming home and I can relax. That's, That's amazing. Every night. And you know what? I can't wait to get home and jump in my jump into my king size bed and just start clicking. I bet. Yeah. <laughs> it's awesome. It's an awesome feeling, dude. You came after me. And I made a choice to take advantage of the opportunity. So, you know, what if I did that for somebody else? Just kept coming after them. Somebody that I saw with the potential, possibly, maybe, just maybe, they're desperate enough to want to get the hell out of that. This is, this is what I've been thinking about. You know, you obviously can't save the world, but you can... You know, try and be the change. Danny always says this, my buddy Danny. Try and be the change that you want to see in the world. Try to be the change yep. that you want to see in the world. Live it. Yeah. Everything is action. Words really don't mean anything. Dude, I'm inspired every day. My tail wags. <laughs> I come to work. I come to work tail wagging. I go to a meeting tail wagging. Seem to have like obsessed over these dogs and taken care of them. We got a Rottweiler princess and Reno, the German Shepherd, who used to be a police dog. He's smart as hell. If I wanted to be so like somebody when I grow up, it'd be Richard. Because he gets along, he loves, everybody loves him. And he, he'll put things in a way like, well, this is what I did once, and it really didn't work out for me. <laughs> and he'll start laughing behind it and just make you laugh. Hey, Richard's saved my life probably two, three different times. Who He's is brought it? me back to life. Who is Richard? Richard, uh, I've known for like 20 years. I think the big difference with Aaron right now is that he's in a new place with new people. He's not carrying around all this history that he has from back where, he, you know, back where he's from. So. It's like a fresh start. A fresh start, yeah. I'm impressed he got so much work 
Yeah, there's plenty of work down here. <laughs> That's really good. Like, a lot of people complain they can't find work. Yeah. Come to Palm Beach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it shows Aaron's character too, because not only did he get a job, two jobs, right? And he got those jobs on his own. It wasn't like he was fired or anything. He didn't like the first job, so he found a second job. And now he's living in a really nice home. He's um, roommates with really good guys that are sober and they're like focused. Yeah. Um, and everyone's got generally surrounded himself with positive influencers. Would you agree? Absolutely. You got a friend for life, man. Yeah, dude, for you sure. You need anything. The biggest lesson I learned from this experience is be the change you want to see in this world. And don't expect that change to happen overnight. You gotta put in the work. Believe it or not, one person can make a huge difference. Actions speak louder than words. So live inspired every day, believe in yourself, and go out there and do more good deeds.